Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and happy first weekend of Super Mario Party Jamboree. Now, you guys are probably thinking, you know, I got a nice weekend project slot here. This would be a perfect time for a Mario Party game, right? Well, I'm not quite ready for Jamboree. I mean, the game did just come out. I want to spend some time with it. You know, I, I don't think now is the greatest time for a playthrough of Jamboree. At least for right now. So, I guess in the meantime, are there any other board games I have that I can showcase? Ah, damn it. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my next Let's Play. I haven't played a board game in a long time. Pop, you read the rules while I make some popcorn. Hmm, let's see here. We need to know what type of game we want to play, how many players, um, who's gonna play. Uh-huh, uh-huh, interesting. That's a boring game, Pop. I don't know, Chucky. Maybe the win has to make everyone be bored. Silly baby, it's not a boring game. It's called a board game because you play it on a board. Huh? <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, it looks like you have to decide a few things before you can play. Slim Kirby, Slim Kirby. Truly, you have reached the bottom Truly the bottom of the barrel here. But yeah, welcome to Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. This is a licensed board game on the Nintendo 64. And you're probably wondering, why the hell am I playing this? Well, first and foremost, I had to play it eventually. Some might disagree with that, but, you know, it's a game I own. So, naturally, at some point, I'd have to get it off of my two-play schedule, I guess. Uh, two, I did just, you know, kind of release the Nicktoons Unite video for uh, GBAs recently. And, you know, I mentioned in that video that, you know, Rugrats was a series, a Nicktoon that I grew up with. So that kind of put this game kind of fresh in my mind a little bit. And uh, three... A uh, fellow Let's Player and friend of mine, Madame Wario, uh, she had her birthday this week. So, you know, kind of decided to do a little bit of a tribute to her as well, since, like me, she also grew up watching the Rugrats. And, uh, you know, she uh, has played this game. She and I like to reference and talk about this game as well. So, figured it made sense to cover it from that perspective as well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, my reasoning for playing this. Um, I don't think this is a great game by any stretch, but uh, we're going to check it out. We all know that board games are usually my specialty to some degree, so I figured, why the hell not? So I needed a weekend project, and I figured that, well, let's do something silly like this. Uh, so yeah, this is a board game. Uh, there are three different boards you can choose from. There's uh, Angelica's Temple, there's Pirate Treasure Hunt, and then there's Reptar Rally. Um, each of the boards kind of interesting. Um, the first board is actually not even like a battle royale. It's actually um, a team of four versus one computer AI. You can probably guess who that AI is going to be based on the name of the board. Uh, the second game is, you know... There's one winner, and then the um, third game, there's also just one winner. But it actually plays quite differently from the other two, and we'll get into why later. 
Um, you can also choose whether you can have hidden squares on or off. Um, I will have them off because hidden squares does just kind of add a little bit of extra randomness, which, you know, might be interesting, but uh, it could also get kind of confusing, especially as I'm trying to explain the game. So I'll go ahead and leave them off. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, Angelica's Temple. Uh, you can choose the board size. I believe this just kind of determines like how many big rooms are in each of the boards, at least for the um, the first two. Again, the third board's kind of a, its own thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go with medium. Um, I debated large, but I think large actually makes it harder, too, and I'll, again, explain why. Um, I, I guess there's a couple of different ways you can look at it, so I'll go ahead and go with medium. Uh, then I believe you choose your players, and um, you can actually... Um, let's see, let me think here. I think I'm just going to be Tommy for this bo first board, and there's a reason why. I'll explain why later. Um, but um, you can actually um, play as all four players if you want to. And for a board like this, may not be a bad idea. <laughs> but um, you can also just turn them into CPUs, which I probably will do. If it gets to a point where I can't win this game, then yeah, sure, I'll probably turn on all human players and just play as all of them but for now we'll just go ahead and go with uh me as player one and then the other three is um all cpus um so yeah that's uh pretty much what we're gonna do here um i'm gonna go ahead and hit uh the start button to start the game i think there's gonna be a cutscene, so let's go ahead and take a look at that hey look the stuff i ordered from the shopping network arrived what did you get they're replicas of ancient Aztec idols. They only cost three payments of nineteen ninety-five each. Dear, dear, can you come help me in the kitchen? Coming! You know, those statues remind me of the time I was exploring Aztec ruins with a group of archaeologists back in 1906. I remember we had to hack through miles of jungle before we reached the Temple of Cocobola. Once inside... <laughs> those statues are scary looking. You should be scared, Chucky, because those statues are cursed. If they were to break, you babies would be sorry. Oops. Find all the pieces of the broken statues before Angelica finds hers, or you will be trapped here in the Temple of Cocobola. <laughs> the babies okay sorry i thought there was like a voice acting i think i was just hearing voices from somewhere else uh the babies must work together to find the pieces of the broken statues if the babies find all their statue pieces before angelica finds her golden statue the babies will win so that's what this is a uh, four versus one uh type of scenario um so basically um each of the babies has um a statue each of the statue has i think three or four pieces and essentially you just need to get all the statue pieces built like across all four babies like i, I think you can have like another baby's pieces that's not a big deal and then angelica has her own statue you can find pieces of her statue um, but if you do, you want to stay away from Angelica because she can actually steal them and um, put it together. So essentially we're trying to put the four pieces of our statues, all of our statues together before she gets hers. And if it does sound like that's kind of unfair because she has much less to put together than we do, uh, that's because it is. And that's why this is a four versus one. So this is honestly a game mode you can pretty easily lose because of the... So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what that is. Um, here on the menu, you can also take a look at um, a map, which is just the entire board. It's not as descriptive as it probably could be. I believe if you do the large mode, there's also like a room at the top of the screen, but there's only four rooms in this. So that's what the large does. And you can also see where all the um, different characters are. Um, in addition to the babies, Angelica's also on the board, obviously, but uh, also Grandpa Lou and Spike are also on the board, and I'll explain what they do, basically, later. 
Um, these are just cards. You can get cards throughout the game. You can use them here. Um, you can also trade cookies and energy, which I'll talk about that later, too. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, spin. Use this little rattle to spin, I guess. So we're going to move a big two. Um, I believe we can move any direction, at least to start. But um, once you move in a direction, you're kind of stuck in that direction until you get an item. Uh, so the main spaces you want to look for is um, you want to look for the magnifying glass spaces. So we can actually hit two of those right now. Um, the cookie spaces give you more cookies. The red cookie spaces subtract cookies. Um, I believe the um, Z's, the Z's square that's below me, uh, that will uh, increase your energy, but I think you'll also like lose a turn or something. Um, the red square with the toolbox, that can give you like an item card. And the crib icon that Grandpa Lou is on right now, that'll actually send you to the crib. And I think the dill space in the corner there kind of mixes up all the squares. We'll, we'll kind of see the benefits of all those things. But let's go ahead and uh, go to the magnifying glass. So here, uh, this is basically the search function. Uh, we can basically look at any of the random places in the room. And you can actually find an item in uh, one of these spaces. So let's just go to the first one. I found a statue piece. So cool, we actually found a statue piece, one of our statue pieces, which is good. And now the other characters will roll. So Chucky is... Okay, Chucky's going to get some cookies. Well, that's not true, because I imagine that can't be healthy for a baby. Let's see. Okay, so Lil's going to look... Okay, so she got a magnifying glass. That will allow her to actually search two squares whenever she hits one of those squares. Which is nice. Um, yeah, Lil's gonna or Phil's gonna want to get out of there because Angelica's in that room, and obviously we don't want to deal with her so or easily. And there's the compass. I kind of talked about that earlier. That's the thing that'll allow you to um, move in any direction. And much like the uh, babies, Angelica can, al can also search as well. So she, you want to make sure she doesn't land on any of. Um, those squares uh so let's go ahead and uh spin our next wheel here oh we can actually set our spin that's nice so if we want to we can just go ahead and uh land right on another search square which i think i'm gonna do that actually we're just gonna fully search this room and get rid of everything i uh, found another statue piece which is good Um, Chucky, what the hell? Apply better attention to your <laughs> well, Chucky didn't have any um, statue pieces, thankfully, but <laughs> literally just walked right into Angelica for some reason. <laughs> okay, well, man, Lil, Lil and Tommy MVP of this board right now. And yeah, if you find a dust bunny, that's just like a dead location, so you want to ignore those. So, uh, the basic idea of the cookies are, uh, the cookies are just kind of like power source for your character. Um, because every time you move a space, I believe your energy will actually go down one. And if your energy gets to zero, you will get taken to the crib. Um, you can get taken to the crib if you just land on the crib space. Uh, but you can use cookies to add to your energy so that doesn't happen. If you're at the crib, it's essentially a, like, lose a turn or two because you have to kind of get back to the board. It's also kind of a safe zone, too, so you can actually kind of use the crib as a way to hide from Angelica as well, if that is what you want to do. Um, so here I'm going to land on either... It's either cookies or sleep. I'll, I'll get cookies for now. And as far as other NPCs, it's kind of weird, because I don't think this game explains a whole lot. But, um, if you, if you run into... Chucky! <laughs> 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 
You have no cookies. No! Oh, she took one of our statue pieces. That's kind of lame. I mean, it's all Chucky's fault. He shouldn't have done that in the first place. So now Angelica has two of our pieces. I think we can actually get them back from her if we run into her, but... And see, I'm kind of confused with how that works. Like, you have to meet, like, very specific circumstances, that, or it's just, like, random. I, I honestly don't know. But, yeah, we have to do something to get our pieces back from her. Also pieces, by the way. But, um, in addition to Angelica basically taking something from you... Um, if you run into Grandpa Lou, I think he'll give you cookies. If you run into Spike, or, like, if you land on Spike, um, you actually get to, like, move, like, a lot more spaces or something. See, this is bad, because Chucky's gonna just keep running into Angelica, which is really stupid. But, um... And see, I think that piece at the top is showing that Angelica does have one of our pieces, the B icon. We haven't found any of her pieces yet, so we need to be mindful of that whenever we get them. I'm gonna lose a cookie. That's okay. I'll get more cookies. I like that attitude, Tommy. It's a good attitude. It's a good attitude to have. Good. Get away from Angelica. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Chucky's throwing the game! <laughs> Man, Lil is killing it. She's searching all of this room. Okay, well she already has a magnifying glass. But we can kind of keep that spot in mind if we're like ever in here. We can actually get that for ourselves and that would be helpful okay so there there it shows that i think yeah we do have a angelica piece it looks like phil's gonna search this room with me gonna get another one of our pieces okay good she didn't search that's all we need. We don't need we don't need her to search. Okay. Hey, okay. Let's just go back. We gotta be getting close to like searching this whole room. It's only a dust. Okay, so we don't wanna search the big blue thing in here. There. Okay, well, Chucky can search double. Yeah, he can search double so he can give more pieces to Angelica. <laughs> Lil is crap. Oh, she has two pieces of Angelica's thing. Okay, so she found the uh, screwdriver. Screwdriver, are uh, there some, like doors you can open with the screwdriver that will basically take you into another room you can kind of use that as like a like a oh okay so i think he gets double search power because he's in a room with me or that or we just automatically get something or i think you can just search in general i think that's what that is which is good um but um but yeah you can use like the secret passages ways to get away from Angelica or just to get to a different room faster either way okay um yeah this room is getting very very small in terms of places we can search I think once we uncover all the search spots like it'll actually show us the Damn it. Chucky, why? <laughs> Chucky is seriously just throwing... Throwing the game. I don't know why. Meanwhile, me, Phil, and Lil are doing all the work. <laughs> We're doing everything. 
Lil has like all the items. <laughs> Doesn't even need them. Okay, Phil's actually going back to this room, which could be helpful. We, we have a lot. There are a lot of baby statue pieces, at least. I'm just nervous about... Um, how to get that piece that Angelica has. We have nothing for that, like, that gray statue. We just need the base for that one. We need, like, half the head for this one. And we need a few more pieces for this one, too. So probably, like, five or six pieces left. I don't know how long this is going to be. Like, I'll probably split it up across a weekend. We can do the same for the next board, too. One, two, so we only have three locations to look at. Okay, cool, I can search double now. So we can pretty much search and then finish up this room. Okay, good, Chucky's staying in this room, that's good. He's getting the hell away from Angelica. There's the half of that head from the one. That's good. And that's, that's good, too. That can help him get away from Angelica. Well, I mean, he wants to get to Angelica, apparently. Yo, there's half of that head. We needed that head. We don't need that dust bunny. Oh, no, we don't. We don't need that dust bunny. Oh, no, we don't. Oh no, they're running out of cookies. Well, I mean, that, that at least they'll get like taken the the nursery or baby room. Boop. Oh God, Phil, you need to run. <laughs> Phil has stuff. <laughs> I don't like that. Um. I wish it, it was that simple to have cookies for a meal, but then you run the risk of, you know, baby can never have too many cookies. weight, unhealthy eating, stuff of that nature. I might actually need to eat some cookies just so I avoid getting sent to the crib right now. I think we found all of Angelica's pieces. Which, I mean, it's good that, you know, she can't find them, but... Damn it. It's not good. <laughs> Angelica, why? <laughs> Phil, why? He could have gone the other way. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. See, see, I don't know what causes that. It seems like it's just random when you get, like, a piece back from her. 